But it always struck me, and, and it was a tough thing as running a team, when do you get down on a player for drinking too much? When all that's being modeled is everybody's drinking all the time. Right. Including in the clubhouse, by yeah. the way, on a side we note. Had, we had a fridge in the locker room, and it was well-stocked. Uh, we had alcohol in the clubhouse. Mm-hmm. We used to say we don't feed our players alcohol when we are flying home yep. from the road to home because the players have to drive. Drive home, yep. But guess what? The greatest, this is not a top five list because there's only one, Randy Choate. Randy, I know you listen because you told me. Randy Choate had his own drinking suitcase that was a suitcase that he brought on the team plane because we didn't serve alcohol on certain legs right. of the flight. And he would open it and add the containers. The only thing I can liken it to is Nicolas Cage's gun briefcase in Lord of War, where there's different <laughs> containers everywhere. File. That is what Randy had, and it was awfully impressive. So he would mix his drinks? Like he had like the shaker? He had everything. And it was, he would sit in the back where the players are, right? And a little elastic band, <laughs> uh, band around his biceps. He did not have needles. I'm willing no, no, to. Oh, no, no, no. no. I'm like saying like an old-timey bartender. Wow. bartender. Wow. 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 That's two drug references. Wow. For, like, it's okay, real. David. We haven't started yet. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. When you say wrap something around your arm and we're talking about oh, like alcohol. An, an old-timey uh, Yeah, the bartender, bartender. You know, with the handlebar mustache. No. Where it's like and a, like a towel over his. Yeah. Yeah, that what, you know. That reference you know. The, uh, what was the, uh, the whole point of the elastic band around the arm? Very Did it awesome. serve any sort of practical purpose? They kept bottle openers under it. Uh, like so, they'd whip it out, be wait. able to open the no, beer, they had pockets so, and that then can't put be it in. in. No, that can't be it. Put it in. No pockets. Right, right here. Can't be in. No pockets. No pockets. Those shirts did not have pockets. That they you didn't want. To. They didn't want you like putting out the till in your pocket, <laughs> right? You got to make sure. So if you're gonna carry anything, it's got to be out in the open. You know what? I, I, do you ever go to those super pretentious bars where they're wearing aprons? Oh like, yeah. Wear- and mixologists. Don't get me started on mixologists. What's a mixologist? Oh, you made me a, a rum and coke. Well, how? What is that mixology? No, mixology is when you get a lemon and you squeeze it, but you don't actually put any of the juice in there. You're just like s- squeezing the aroma. There's also this where you do this with the mint. The essence. Yeah. Oh, you got to spank the mint. Yeah. They cousin, look down on you when my you My cousin order. who went on the twine tour also taking a mixology class next year. Fascinating. When you do it, when you order, do you ever feel guilty ordering like a rum and coke from a very fancy bar where you know they're making cool drinks and they look at you and judge you because that's what you're ordering? I don't want, like, I mean, these things are just too complicated sometimes. There's one that comes out under like a a, a glass kind of covering and there's smoke. smoke coming out. And I'm like, I just want a drink. Can I drink it now? That's what the question is. When is that okay? To, is that cold? Is that like dry ice? <laughs> Yeah, I've been through that. Or like going to the, I've, I've had the problem where I went to a bar and the bartender, like to make the drink, is doing the Tom Cruise and cocktail, throwing the bottle up in the sky and get, like, no, I, I'm not impressed. This, the tip is not going to be bigger for the performance. Hubba, hubba. Have you guys gone to like bars where they have fancy drinks and, and half the ingredients in a drink? You recognize one word. So it'll be like, Blah, 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 and use vodka. And then everything else is yeah. just words that you've never heard of. And you're like, I don't know And you if order I'm it like to feel drink. cool, right? It's a $19 drink, and you see vodka in it, and you say, excuse me, is this one good? And they suggest it, and you take it, but you have no idea what's in it. It's my pet peeve. I, I want to know what something's going to taste like before I order it. The worst, the worst. I'm even worse than it doesn't taste good. Yeah. Is you order the drink. You're like, oh, this, this looks like I'd like it. And then it comes out in a very shishy kind of... Um, uh, Glass? O- over the top, like, overstated. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's, yeah, the presentation, it's like, it's the... Because you feel like it's a female drink? Is that your issue? Yeah, it just feels like, it's like there's no way I can feel like, yeah, I, I drink. Because it's not and manly it's got, enough. It's got like an umbrella. It's just hard to transport. I like to move. When I'm drinking, I it's can't, not practical. I can't really saying. move with this thing. I also don't like martini glasses for the same reason. You Get have to stay here. in one place with a martini. I get made fun of because I order Cosmopolitans because I like them, and uh, it's All no right, Carrie Bradshaw. So not even I know the reference, but that's not why. It's because when I used to be able to taste them, it's the it's the type of alcohol that I could drink, and it comes in a mart- martini glass, yeah. and I get made fun of mercilessly in the baseball world when I would sit with a bunch of men and order a Cosmo. That's just, we need to get over the fact. We can't ascribe gender to drinks. This is just ridiculous. You You actually can. can. This is the last chip to fall, I'm afraid. You can. You can technically do a lot of things, but... (laughs) 
come on, really? You shouldn't. I hear you, but it's the last ship to fall. It's not the last ship to fall. Uh, it's not even the last equal, 10. Equal no. pay is the last yeah. ship to fall. <laughs> yeah. That's going too far. <laughs> Let's not get crazy. Let's not get nuts. 